technical analysis indicates that the XRP price does not appear to be very favorable. The dominant digital asset lost 26.75% by the end of August. The negative price action could be attributed to Bitcoin's weakness and the crypto market's diminished liquidity. XRP faced strong selling after SEC news in July 2023. XRP coin surged by more than 47 on Ripple's court victory against the SEC. However, the gains were short-lived as the price action reversed after a few days. In hindsight, it appears that the whale viewed the news as an opportunity to unload their bags at higher prices. Since then, Ripple price has been down 49, wiping out all of its July gains. The Ripple price forecast turns adverse, the 200-day moving average serves as a boundary for most swing traders. A breakdown below this key moving average on a higher time frame is regarded as extremely adverse. The following XRP price chart demonstrates that the price has broken below the 200 MA on the daily and weekly time frames. This breakdown below the key moving average has rendered the Ripple price prediction bearish once again if bulls fail to reclaim the 0.525 level on a weekly time frame. In the coming weeks, I anticipate a retest of the 41 cents level, which would represent a 15% decline from the current price level of 50 cents. It has moved minus 3.84 cents in the past week and is currently trading at 48 cents. In truth, XRP has risen 0.64 cents in the past 24 hours. There is a slight bearish sentiment on the crypto market, but the long-term sentiment is bullish, and XRP could reach 61 cents in 2024. XRP serves as a bridge to other currencies, it does not differentiate between fiat and cryptocurrency. This property makes it easy for any currency to be exchanged for another. To put it another way, every currency has its own payment gateway. This property enables easy transfers across national boundaries with any currency pair on either side, while striving to transform the global financial services industry. The transactions on XRP are open source, permissionless, and carbon neutral. The XRP ledger XRPL typically takes 3 to 5 seconds to settle, which makes it quite attractive for financial institutions, users, and developers to get on board. The back and forth with the SEC prevented the token from peaking with the broader market pump in November of last year. Given the market-wide baseline, Meltdown XRP's YDD downtrend lost half its value, and recent developments in the case, with the SEC rekindled some hope for XRP progress on this front could aid the altcoin in sustaining its well-founded bull run while the lawsuit is pending. However, when will XRP surpass its immediate ceiling on the charts? What other network developments may affect its value in the eyes of potential buyers? Let's delve deeply into some of these occurrences to gain a better understanding of XRP's likely movement on the chart in the coming weeks and months. 5. 000. Bitcoin is no longer a small part of the financial world, it is now a worldwide movement that is used and known by many people. This speech was not the end of Dorsey's journey with Bitcoin. In reality, it was just the start. In 2018, Square, a company he helped start that provides financial services, added Bitcoin trading to its cash app so that users could buy, sell, and keep Bitcoin. Block has become a big player in the crypto space thanks to his leadership. He has invested in Bitcoin infrastructure and worked on projects to make Bitcoin easier to use and more accessible. As Bitcoin continues to change and shape the future of finance and technology, Jack Dorsey's early support and continued commitment to the cryptocurrency show how revolutionary Bitcoin is and how it could change the way standard financial systems work. Cryptocurrencies traded in a holding pattern on Wednesday after the latest Consumer Price Index, CPI, report showed that inflation picked up in August, with headline prices going up 0.6% from July to August and 3.7% from August 2017 to August 2018. This was mostly due to a rise in energy costs. Investors were looking ahead to next week's Fed meeting, where the central bank will decide if more interest rate hikes are needed. This made the stock market a bit of a mess. The CME FedWatch tool predicts that the Fed will stop raising interest rates next week 97% of the time, which is up from 92% a day ago. 
At the end of the day, the S&P and Nasdaq were up by 0.12% and 0.2%, respectively, but the Dow was down by 0.2%. TradingView data shows that after the CPI report, Bitcoin's BTC price went up at first, reaching a high of $26,416 in the afternoon before falling back to support above $26,100 which has been a constant level of resistance since the middle of August. September Bitcoin futures prices were up again in early U.S. trading on Wednesday, said Jim Wyckoff, a senior technical analyst at Kitco. Prices hit a six-month low on Monday, but have been going up since. Wyckoff said, the bulls have now stabilized prices, but they have a lot more work to do in the near future to show that prices can start to go up. The bears still have the overall technical edge in the short term because the price downtrend line on the daily chart is still in place. MN Trading's trade letter on Wednesday, which was based on the CPI, said, when interest rates are raised quickly, the overall performance of risky assets on the markets tends to be worse. Don Fop Penn, an analyst at MN Trading, said, we saw this trend for a long time, and it seemed like we were stuck in a downward spiral. However, the tide is turning. Recent CPI reports show that inflation has been slowing down. Fop Penn said that this gives the Fed fewer reasons to continue aggressively raising interest rates, which gives risky assets more room to increase in value once again. Fop Penn looked at the price behavior of Bitcoin and said that on high timeframe charts, the weekly candles look quite uncertain, and the chart as a whole looks a little bit shaky. Fop Penn said, yes, officially, we are still in an uptrend, which is something to think about, but I don't find the overall structure of the weekly timeframe very reassuring. There was a big move up, and then there was a strong move down. After that, we saw a retracement back towards the weekly FEG, where we again saw a strong decline. We also have similar lows on the fall, which makes it likely that the price will move in that direction. Fop Penn said, we can see another reason why an initial move down is likely to happen when we look at the daily time frame. The price has hit similar lows on both sides. He said, these levels are used to create liquidity. What we can see, and it's very likely to be true, is that these equal lows have formed above an imbalance on the daily period. Now, the price has two reasons to go down, first, to remove liquidity below the equal lows and second, to fill the imbalance on the daily period. Fop Penn said, one of the most important things about trading is to keep your capital safe. It's important not to do anything crazy right now, especially with the way the market is. The price action is choppy, and we are trading within a narrow band. Because of this, he suggests milking the range, which